Hey guys, it's Bill. Welcome back to another live game. Currently, today we have something kind of wacky, kind of funky, but actually kind of cool as well. Yorick Jungle, a lot better than you think it is, and I'm going to show you that right now today in this video. Before we get started, though, just want to make you aware of a $500 giveaway that's going on right now. Riot Point giveaway. Uh, just follow the link in the description. Uh, all you've got to do is follow some people on YouTube. Really easy, free to enter. 500 big smackers. That could get you 500. One dollar cheeseburgers, or five hundred Essex sluts. So, Yorick Jungle. Here are your runes. Boom! There it is. Fleet footwork might sound weird, but there you go. So, I'm not a Yorick Jungle expert, so I'm just going to preface this by saying uh, this was kind of showed to me, taught to me by Nine Tails, who's an Oceana, a play on uh, on the Australian server on Oceana. Um, he's a challenger, Yorick Jungle. One trick as yeah, that's a weird. I don't think I'd ever say that. Um, so if you want to see a really good person play uh, this and actually see Yorick Jungle at its best, watch him. I'll put a link to his stream in the description. What this video will mostly just be like an introduction to it, I guess, showing you bits about it and and yeah, that's mostly what this will be. Uh, if I don't explain things particularly well, I'm still learning it. It's a little bit tricky, honestly, to play. There are some things that you've got to think about that you've got to. Uh, take into consideration that you've, you know, just little things, specifically with your ghouls and stuff. Um, so, uh, that can be uh, a tad, uh, I don't know, I might just have to think about things as I'm doing them, basically. So, if I'm not talking as much or whatever, or you think I haven't explained things particularly well, I do apologize, but just go watch Nine Tails. So, what you want to do on Yorick, when you last hit things with your Q, you spawn, <gasps> god damn it, whatever, I mess it up, that's fine. You spawn these little graves on the floor like you can see there. I'm not talking about little cowboys with cigars, no, I'm talking about actual graves. And what you want to do is you want to get four of these, ideally four, but anytime you get three or above, you can reactivate your Q uh, and you can summon your ghoul. So I've got three down right now, there's four get in range of the next one, boom. So now I have four ghouls just knocking about here, beautiful stuff. Uh, so that's, this is what you really, this is kind of the core of Yorick Jungle, uh, is you want to have these bad boys walking around with you and doing your dirty work for you. Now I did see Lee Sin, there he is. I can probably, this guy has no flash, we may be able to kill him here. Press E, ghouls jump on him, boom, he's dead. First blood, let's go. So your ghouls actually follow you everywhere. Uh, legit, they don't, they last forever, they follow you everywhere. Uh, the only time they disappear is when you go into uh, a lane and they go in combat in a lane. So we're going to go topside here and try and gank this uh, on here. I don't actually have my red buff, which makes this a little bit more difficult, but we can still try and do something here. There go my ghouls. <laughs> and excellent, he's dead. Beautiful stuff. I'm just going to tax a little bit there, not much, I just want a bit of experience really more than anything else. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Now my ghouls sadly are going to leave me now because I went into a lane and, and went in combat in that lane. Uh, which means that they are now just going to run down that lane and just push it endlessly. <laughs> um, Non-stop pushing that lane. So, uh, I've lost them now but that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and... Keep farming up and uh, Krugs are a really really good jungle camp to get more ghouls. He's actually dead. <laughs> Krugs are a really good jungle camp to get more ghouls because they're like Russian dolls, loads of little ones pop out of them. So you can get loads of free last hits for your ghouls here. Uh, and they even, they follow you even when you recall. So I can recall here uh, with four ghouls up and the ghouls will just follow me. So I'm just going to finish these off. That's three. Uh, I want one more here before I reactivate my Q. When my Q comes off cooldown, I can use it again and boom. There we go. Now I've got four ghouls. Beautiful stuff. So we'll recall here. We'll shop. We're going to get our skirmish to Sabre. We're going to go for Warrior Enchant. That's your core item build, Warrior Enchant. Then Triforce. And then it's situational, but pretty much just damage after that. Uh, although, you can go some like hybrid damage items. For example... Um, GA, 
is, is the, probably the best example, but even things like Sterax and stuff. What? <laughs> Holy shit, that general damage. So yeah. I'm just gonna trot down bot side here, I think. Maybe I'll go for Grump first, but I wanna go bot here because uh, this could maybe be a cheeky little kill. Lee Sin might even wrap around. Uh, I kinda wanna go Grump first because that'll get me level five, but I'm actually just gonna head bot here. And I've got a whole ghoul army again. All right, if he comes in on this, I think we can kill him. Come here, dickhead. Wow, I'm so slow. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game. I could have killed him there as well. I should have flash eat him. Fuck, okay, whatever. Well, ignore the last, like, 10 seconds of that play. Everything else, just be like, yeah. Because that was cool, right? Up until that point. God damn it, I thought I was faster than that. I'm actually boosted. Okay. Should have gone for one less longsword. Actually, no, I shouldn't because I want to kill Lee Sin. Whatever. Forget my control ward here. There we go. Alright, that was kind of boosted, but that's okay. So we're going to farm the rest of our jungle here. Uh, blue buff is spawning in 20 seconds. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go for the chickens first. Because then I can get, again, it's an AoE camp, so I can get lots of, uh, I can get my ghouls back up here. So let's just go towards this now. Boom. Don't need, I can just kill this big one. You don't need to last hit the big ones. Specifically, just anything is fine. So here we go. I'll kill these last two. Just go AFK for a short time. Wait for my Q to come back up. There it is. Boom. Now I've got four goals. Oh, there comes the Talon. He's going for the Orn. He's feeling Orny. So one of the big things, the most important thing when you've got your ghouls up is you want to make sure you are tanking the jungle camps and not your ghouls. Because your ghouls do a crap ton of damage and you don't really want them to just randomly die. Uh, now, that's what I say you should do. And I try my best to do this, but I really suck at it. Because I just find that they just... Like this, I feel like I'm standing inside the blue buff, but I'm not in the blue buff. Do you know what I mean? Uh, here comes Talon. Maybe we can do something here. I've got my ultimate as well, so... This journey is yours, That's fine. Oh, hello. We should just chill here. So yeah, I lost like all my goals to blue buff. I'm, I'm really bad at doing it. But that I'm, if, if you practice your can you get better at it? That's one of the things you should practice and, and you really should get very good at doing. Because I, I feel like it's really important. <laughs> I'm just really bad at it. Alright, how much is 900? Yeah, I don't know. I don't... I really need this war enchant, but we can try this first. Oh, there's Lee Sin. MF's dead already, by the way. Oh my god, Triumph, I'm actually alive. <laughs> Alright. Well, my maiden is just chilling here. I'm hoping she's gonna follow me. Nope, she's gonna push bot. Maybe I should have pushed, but now nah, I'm too low, whatever, that's fine. Do you hear that? So, uh, yeah. three of my ghouls stayed in combat there, and another one, uh, and my maiden, sorry, also got in combat. So my maiden acts very much like the ghouls. If they go in combat while you walk in a lane, they will just keep pushing that lane until, that, until they die. Uh, so that's what my maiden is doing, that's what my ghouls are doing here as well. So I'm getting, look, my maiden's almost on 200 damage to the tower now. Like, it's just pushing really hard here. So yeah, that's not great because I kind of wanted my maiden to just chill with me here, but uh, honestly that could be worse. We still get some damage on the tower, so that's not too bad. So I'm going to go for some more ghouls here by killing the Krug camp, and then we'll look for a gank topside, I think. Oh man, I don't know if, I've, if I can wait this long. I've only got four ghouls here, but I feel like that's fine. Oh my goodness, really? God damn it. For a place to take root. I wonder if they saw me here. Alright, my ghouls are fucking that guy up. <laughs> there 
That is Talon. He's already used his ward hop, and he's dead as well. Beautiful stuff. Excelente. Now, I want to give a uh, really small shout out here to the Talon on my team for giving me jungle because he was mid. Uh, he was jungle and I was mid, and he gave me jungle. Uh, but he was. <laughs> A bit toxic because I picked L L Yorick and Tristana told me to kill myself, but <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure they like me now because I'm actually doing well. <laughs> Yorick is pretty good at pushing towers down as well. His Q is an auto attack reset. It's like an auto attack enhancer. And it's a Sheen. It uh, works off Sheen, effect Sheen effects as well. So with Triforce. Well, I don't have Sheen right now, obviously. But in general, if you have when you get your Triforce, which I will get, uh, you'll see that it's pretty good. Alright, if I can drag the Gromp really far up here and kill it with my Q, I might be able to use this soul. Oh my goodness, we're fighting. If they could see what I see. We just want to chill here, we don't want to 2v3 this one. Um, I can probably... Th so Yorick is good at fighting 1v1. Uh, I can fight anyone 1v1 right now in this game. Uh, the only kind of asterisk behind that is I need ghouls and I need, ideally want my ultimate as well. Having my ultimate up not only gives me a bunch of extra damage, but also, uh, well, yeah, basically this gives me a bunch of extra damage. When you hit someone and your ghoul is, and your ultimate is on them, your girlfriend's on them, you will do... Oh shit. You will do a percentage health damage to them. I'm just kind of distracting Azir here because I can see Talons just chilling in their jungle. So, <laughs> yikes. Alright, I'm actually going to recall here because I have a crap ton of gold. Alright, let's get out of here. Like I said, by the way, guys, if you want to see like a proper good guy play this, like a proper Yorick jungle one trick, um, then go watch Nine Tails. I will link his stream in the description. Uh, that's of course if you don't mind watching people with funny accents and deported convicts. All right, let's just get my bot side. I can go for Dragon as well here. Uh, we're gonna use just pop out ultimate. This is something which I'm pretty bad at doing and feels really weird to do because it's just not <laughs> in your nature, I guess, to do this, but. Uh, you actually just want to pop your ultimate, like, you want it out at all times, basically. Because it doesn't go, it just follows you around and helps you farm. Like, it's not like it's wasting its potential by being with you when you're not in a lane. Because you can genuinely just, it just follows you and helps you farm, like, it's crazy. So, I'm gonna go for the dragon with this thing up. The, the plus side of having your maiden, your girlfriend, uh, is that she doesn't suicide to monsters as much. Because she's ranged, so she doesn't draw aggro. I mean, just look at this. I'm just powering through the jungle right now. I'm powering through objectives as well. It's crazy. I might just... Uh, if I push bot, all, I will lose all my minions. Alright, let's go. We're fighting this one. Zerath is dead. Yorick is gonna die as well. <laughs> Look at this! This is busted! Is this not busted? It's crazy. Oh, there goes my girlfriend. Kill the tower before it kills my girlfriend! No! Rest in peace, my love. Good stuff. I'm gonna... <laughs> So what do you lovely chaps think of my jungle Yorick? <laughs> These are the guys, I'm saying this because they flamed me for picking it right. I wanna see what they say about my Yorick pick here. No one gonna say anything? That's a shame. I was looking for some feedback. Oh dear. I don't think we can do this here. Hmm. Might be able to now, honestly. 
This ward doesn't see me, right? So. There you go. My ghouls are just running at Misfortune there. She was put down to like a third hell. If I get hit by that stun, I'm dead. So sadly, I have to waste my flash. Just getting a little bit ham here, honestly. I should recall again, though. I have so much gold. Let's get some ghouls before I recall. Guys, I want to get some ghouls. Stop fighting. Come on. Alright, I've got my ghouls. God damn it. Let me walk up to that bloody wall. Holy shit, that path thing. Toot me, man. God fucking damn. Legit, I could not walk up to that wall. Alright, go my precious! <laughs> Alright, I got my ultimate out again. Uh, I don't want to push bot here, honestly. I want to recall. So now I have a- this is the, I have a full posse right now. I've got my girlfriend, I've got four little dickhead dudes. I'm sorted right now. I'm proper sorted right now. Alright, Ninja Tabby. Do I want to go GA? I kind of feel like I need a bit of magic resist this game. Uh, Spirit Visage, I'm pretty sure, is is really good. I see uh, stalking Nine Tails' match history. He goes this quite a lot, so. Uh, I could go for Adaptive. Adaptive is really good versus Azir because it works off of his soldiers, right? But it's only good versus Azir. Uh, maybe it's good versus Orn's W, I'm not sure. But your Q gives you healing when you're playing Yorick, so... Uh, let's see, your your Q restores 42 health, doubled when you're low on health, so... Increase that by 20%. It's not a huge amount extra, but it's like a plus 10 extra health. Or plus 20 when you're less than half health. So, it's pretty decent. Plus, I mean, the stats are good as well, obviously. Go! Go, my family. Uh, blue buff is spawning in like two seconds here. Uh, Baron is spawning in two minutes. I feel like this is a little bit ham. So I'm just going to go for the, the Rift Herald here. Huge downside of doing Rift Herald though um, is your ghouls don't really last very long versus it because of that big sweeping attack. It one shots them. So you're pretty much guaranteed to lose. Well, I don't know. I'm sure there's a way to do it without losing your ghouls. But uh, I lose all my ghouls. <laughs> okay. Again, I'm not really ready to give up my maiden yet. So we'll go just farm. Krogs. You max W second, by the way. I'm sure some people will be looking at this thinking, what are you doing, buddy? But yeah, maxing W apparently is the way to go. I would have thought it would be E as well. Don't worry, you're not alone thinking that. But no, it's W apparently. I guess you just use your E as like a command attack. Oh my goodness. Alright, red smite here. All my little dickheads. <laughs> he doesn't stand a chance. Alright, this is actually perfect timing for me as well. Because now my team is pushing bot side and I can push top side and no one I can push this really hard and no one's gonna come and stop me here. Like legit. Because they're all just gonna defend bot, right? Like, why would they come top to defend me when they need to defend bot? I guess that, you know, puts a bit of a spanner in the works. I've also got Rift Herald. I completely forgot about Rift Herald.
We need to pressure so that I can push this. Oh my goodness, this is disgusting. She's by herself here, so I'm just gonna send my dickheads on her. <laughs> she dead. <laughs> she is. <laughs> I think I might be as well here, not gonna lie. <laughs> hey, I think that's cool. <laughs> oh dear. So we get two towers, including an inhib tower, two kills. Damn, that is something. All right, beautiful stuff. Let's go for that old spirit residge here, and then we'll go for the... Uh, I need some armor here. I'm probably just gonna go GA, I think. Do I even need spirit residge right now? I could just, you know what, fuck it. I can afford J flat out. Let's just get GA, beautiful. Now, I, I hear that at 20 minutes, you can solo the, dra uh, the Baron when you're playing Yorick. Um, I hear that, oh. I'm recording for you. Sorry. I hear that you need to have mountain dragons or perfect micromanagement of your ghouls. Now, I don't have perfect micromanagement of my ghouls, so I'd need mountain dragons. But I could also probably, I'm going to try it, I think, this game, just because I'm pretty fed, but I'm not expecting much. I'm obviously going to need, like, four ghouls in my... <clears throat> my uh, girlfriend as well, but we'll see. All right, I have no friends here. That's fine. <laughs> All right, let's get some friends. And now we can get the dragon. Uh, actually, I might be able to go for... Let's get Baron, actually. I think we can just do Baron here. Ours is a fate worse than death. I mean, I'm going to try solo it. Oh, no, don't go in combat. Oh my god, my dickhead's got in combat. God damn it. That's actually okay, because when I press R, I get like three, don't I? Yeah, I get three, so... What it's not four, but three is one less than four. Nice. I think this is actually just going to die. Beautiful. <laughs> hey, he killed one of my dickheads. That's not cool. What's up with that, dude? Alright, we can probably just, uh, I don't know if we can end the game here, but we can get pretty close to it. <laughs> Very nice. Alright, beautiful, that's him. <laughs> He's out of it. Nice. All right, so I think we get, we might get the end here as well. Oh, wow. Oh, never mind. Yo, did my W cancel MFO? I didn't see. Anyway, my girlfriend is just ending the game for us here. <laughs> She's generally just beating down on the, on the Nexus Towers. Yo, don't ruin my score, please. I'm gonna get killed here, aren't I? That Roy must go. All right, beautiful stuff. So there you go. That's Yorick Jungle. I think that's a pretty good game to display the old Yorick Jungle. Let's go take a quick cheeky look here at the damage charts and whatnot, so you can see whether or not I actually had any impact that game. It felt like I did, so I feel like me, maybe I did. I'm going to honor Talon because he played pretty well and didn't flame me. Uh, look at that, thirteen thousand gold. Holy crap. How am I not the most honored guy this game? 69 LP. Nice. Look at that, man. Busted. 
Zero support with the highest, almost highest numbers in the game, highest on his team. Excellent stuff. All right. So I guess that just goes to show. Don't don't flame your jungler because he locks in Yorick. I would I would uh, highly suggest so that you practice Yorick jungle before you go into it. It is kind of difficult to play and learning, just like all management and stuff. Uh, I will link this video to Nine Tails, the man himself, and he will. Well, he might not, but if he wants to, he might leave uh, a comment down below, like with maybe some criticisms or just general thoughts or something like that. So if you want more information, well, I'll ask him to do that. I don't know whether he will or not, but whatever. If not, just go watch the stream. I'm sure, you know, that would be better off anyway. But I'll pin his comment if he does leave a comment on this video. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Cheese thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to me for more Legends content. Yeah, you can find me on Facebook, on Twitter, and catch streaming, Twitch TV slash Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you in my next.